What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. Getting into this episode of Days of Our Lives, um, Charlie is freaking psycho. But you know what? The thing about Ava is everything is falling back on Ava because it just goes to show she's a shitty parent. Um, she never really obviously paid any real attention to Charlie because look how he turned out. And clearly he has a lot of resentment towards her for her treatment of him over the years. And the fact that she does treat Trip a hell of a lot better than she treats him. Um, she was sitting there trying to scream for help. <laughs> Charlie is such a sociopath. Like he really was laughing at her when she tried to scream for help. Um... She really tried to appeal to him by suggesting a family Christmas. And Charlie was like, um, he was like, you should have tried that shit when I was 10 years old. Like, damn, Ava, what type of mother have you been to this boy all these years? Like, you never tried to bond with him. You never did no family stuff with him. Like, really, Ava? Um, that fool, when he was going to meet up with Claire, before he left, this fool put on a Christmas movie for her. He really put on a Christmas movie for his mother. I was like, yo, Charlie is crazy is all get out. Um, at least Ava was able to, you know, get her arms loose, you know, loose enough so she could try to free herself. Unfortunately, by the time she did free herself, it was too late because Charlie was back from the from the family get together. And he was just taunting the shit out of her. He was like, you're going somewhere. Oh my God, Ava. Look at this is karma for Ava because look at how crazy Ava is and look at the type of child she raised, like, or lack thereof, because this boy turned out to be nuts. Um, he's a straight up sociopath, you know. Clark Kent done went gangster. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure the Vitaly crime family would be proud of the boy. I mean, you know, he's a psycho killer and rapist and he probably is a killer. Um, I'm pretty sure he has killer tendencies. I wouldn't put it past him. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. Nicole, listen, I kind of feel bad for Nicole being... It's Christmas and she's not with her husband um, on Christmas. I know that has to suck. But she is happy though because like she said, Eric was supposed to come home for Christmas. And she was all giddy and excited and she didn't want to tell the rest of the family yet because it's a surprise. Um, and she wanted to spend some time alone with him, you know, before the family festivities, which I totally get. You know, she hasn't seen her husband in what, a few months now? So I totally get it. But the look on her face, I love the fact that she gave, you know, Henry a little gift, you know, a little baby onesie. I like it. Um, but when she got that knock at the door and she was all souped and happy because she thought it was Eric, it was funny as shit when it was Will. <laughs> but I'm like, where is Sonny at? I guess Sonny is still, I get. where did they go? Arizona? Um... I would have thought Sonny would have been back in town with him, you know, for Christmas. Um, but it was kind of funny, though, when she opened up that door and it was Will. She looked at hella disappointed. Um, she looked real disappointed. But I'm glad Will is back for the time being, you know, to visit the family and stuff. Um... It's good that Allie has that support system in Nicole, though, because Nicole really has been there for Allie. So it's good that, you know, she had that. She didn't have to go through none of this ordeal by herself. Like she had the support of her, you know, of her family, which is really good. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Sammy knows about her being raped. I don't think I don't think Sammy knows. I don't think anybody told Sammy. And if Sammy doesn't know, then I understand why. Like, I can honestly say I understand why nobody told Sammy because Sammy is a pistol. But at the same time, you know, that is her daughter and she does have a right to know. But correct me if I'm wrong. I just I didn't think that she knew. Um, 
But I don't really think the person that was knocking at the door, because when Nicole opened the door again, she had a smile on her face when she was running to the door and opened the door. I don't think the person at the door is Eric. I honestly don't think it is. He probably going to call her and come up with some reason as to why he couldn't come home. Probably got stuck in traffic or plane, you know, plane in issues or whatever. You know, any little soap excuse for him not to be there, which would suck. But my whole thing is I know she loved Eric and it's been years in the making for them to get married. But if he ain't coming home no time soon, you might want to think about, you know, filing those papers. I'm just saying. Because I know it, it would suck to be in y'all first year of marriage and y'all not even spending Christmas and New Year's together. Hell no. Mm -mm. No. So anyway, moving on from that. It was funny as shit watching John cry over It's a Wonderful Life. Like this fool was crying over a Christmas movie. <laughs> Who would ever thought they would see John Black crying over a Christmas movie? My goodness. But, you know, Christmas is really such a beautiful time of the year. It really is. Like, how can you not be in a good mood? It's Christmas, you know. And it's not even about the presents. Like, I could care less about presents. But it's just the simple fact. It's the spirit of Christmas. It's the feel, you know, that gets me all giddy and happy and stuff. Um, but I am super happy that Belle and Sean got reengaged and got remarried all on the same day. Um, I think that was a dope thing, you know? To just come together and just say to hell with it, let's get married today. No frills, no, you know, dressing up in tuxes and all that. Let's just do this now. I don't blame Sean for that, you know. I think that was a cool thing. And I also like the gift that, you know, Brady got from Marlena. The uh, portrait, the uh, picture of um, a frame photo of Marlena with uh, baby Rachel. I think that was a nice picture. I am so mad Charlie little crazy ass showed up to that wedding. I was like, Charlie, who, Claire, why you invite this man to that home? Well, at least he showed up after. You know, well, he did show up a little before the wedding. I was hoping they would have got married after and he wouldn't have been there, but I guess. Um, I don't blame Belle for not wanting to, not wanting Marlena to answer Sammy's phone call. Belle and Sammy's relationship is just so fickle. <laughs> it's like, because Sammy is a handful. And I don't blame Belle for not wanting to deal with her, especially after the whole Jan Spears nonsense and all that. I don't blame her. Like, she just don't want no chaos and all that on her special days, the holidays. She just don't feel like dealing with Hurricane Sammy. But you could tell the relationship between Belle and Sammy, it hurts Marlena because she, I'm pretty sure, wished that her daughters got along. You know what I'm saying? And she could have the whole family together for once, you know, without any bickering, without any bad blood, just the whole family happy being together. And I get that, but you're not always going to get that, though. You know what I mean? Especially not even in my family. Like, it'd be a miracle. It's just not going to happen. You know, especially when you're dealing with two different people and Sammy is just too damn much sometimes with her selfishness and her craziness. Um... But anyway, I can't say that I blame them. You know, it's good. Sean and Bella now husband and wife again. Congratulations. Um, it sucks that Will and Allie didn't show up until after the ceremony. But, you know, it's understandable. They didn't know about it. Um, I am so glad that Allie bumped into Charlie. Because as soon as she saw Charlie, she had a feeling that she knew him already. And she told Clear that she felt like she knew him. And Charlie was acting all weird and nervous around her. Talking about some, oh, I just have one of those familiar faces. No, she, she's going to start putting the pieces together that she knows where she know you from. She's gonna, It's, it's going to hit her. And Charlie immediately, once Allie showed up, Charlie was all set to get the hell out of there. Um... Talking about he's not feeling well. He should go home. Um, if Claire was a person who. How do I put it? If she was a person who knows how to, you know. Observe things like if she had good observation skills, she would notice that Charlie was fine before Allie showed up. Any fool would have noticed that if you were, if you're good at observation, you would have known you would have known. 
and she would have noticed that you didn't start feeling sick until after Allie showed up. And she would have thought to herself, that's odd, and tried to put some pieces together and figure out why he would do that once she showed up. Come on now. He was perfectly fine before that. Now it's like he's sick and he needs to go home. But anyway, I can't wait until they figure out who he really is and, you know, go after him and finally exonerate Trip. Even though I hate the fact that this whole rape storyline was pretty much all about exonerating Trip, I feel like they missed a whole lot of good material with this rape. You know, I think they they can still fix this mess. It's still fixable because once they find out the truth that Charlie's the one who did it, I think they can... Um, they can fix this, you know, I think they can kind of redo it a little bit because I definitely want to see more emotion out of Allie, even though people do handle traumatic experiences differently. But I think Allie does need some counseling. I think she's going to need some therapy because when you've been through rape and I'm not talking about therapy with Marlena, I think she needs to see a therapist who's not a relative, somebody from the outside. I think that's really what she would need. Um, It was cute. You know, Bell and Sean, um, he had gave her some earrings and stuff as another gift. I love that wedding. I really did. It was so beautiful. It was simple. It was to the point. You know, you had all your close people there and Charlie, um, unfortunately. But I thought it was nice. It was simple. And I love things that are just simple, you know, not overly complicated. We got to plan a million things. I just like simple. Simplicity. I just love that. Um... Of course, Brady had to show up and rib his father for crying at a Christmas movie. I actually like that scene. Um, overall, this was a pretty good good episode. Decent little Christmas episode. Um, I knew somebody was going to end with a wedding. So I'm glad it's Sean and Belle. Um, but hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought about this. And I will see you all later. Have a great night. Peace.